Hey, how are you? My name is Mayuresh and I am the co-founder of Grey Atom and I look after admissions and uh, counselling. It's good to have you once again for another episode of some of these question series where I take the questions from all the aspirants and help them make the transition from their current careers into data sciences. Uh, thank you so much. So we have a question for the day and this is a question that I've been asked at least you know thousand times over the last one year and the question is I'm just starting out with data sciences what should I focus on R or Python R or Python I think it is a very classic question that gets asked to a lot of people and people just uh, deliberate you know what I should start off with what's the right thing to do is there a one you know significant advantage over the other so on and so forth so I'll just give the answer straight right up front the answer is pick one anyone stay with it and go in the depth pick one stay with that go in the depth that's that's the recipe you don't need to master both the languages you need to just pick one language go really into the depth of it and you'll be doing a big favor to yourself personally gray atom we believe that we want to stay with python and there are some few good reasons we believe we want to stay with python and i'll just quickly help share some of them with you uh, over the, this particular video great so i think uh, just to understand you know uh, where r essentially comes from so r essentially has a background where it is more and more suited for offline processing where it is originally used since a time when offline processing and analytics per se was in vogue and i think we were doing a lot of uh, processing and then building out nice presentations and taking it to the masses so that's where i think r really really comes into play it has an excellent and a very strong and a growing package library so last time you checked CRAN, I think the number of packages were just you know, going through the roof. Some really very interesting packages have been developed over there. Uh, more importantly, it is designed by statistician. The whole language per se has been designed by uh, statistician. So R definitely has its pros. Very easy to learn, uh, nice to pick up. R Studio has uh, very nicely matured over the years and it is one of the most intuitive and easy languages to get going, started, so on and so forth. Uh, Python. Python on the other hand has been uh, the scientific part of the Python has been designed uh, with a lot of engineering uh, considerations having uh, been uh, kept in mind. If you close the track, if you do a simple Google search, you will very closely see that the Python and the uptake of Python as a general purpose programming language and the scientific Python that you have seen has really ballooned over the years and the trend seems to indicate that it is also going to go north in time to come. So it is a language with definitely a lot of uh, great prospects. Uh, as I said, it is a general purpose programming language. Uh, it has elements of object oriented programming which lends itself to great amount of scalability going forward. So these are definitely some very well documented uh, pros with Python. There are some definite uh, wrappers and languages like PySpark and you know, everything that is written. Keeping in mind that you want to support the whole ecosystem of developers that is being developed uh, in and around Python. At Greatum, as I again said, we want to stay with Python and all the curriculum that we have over here is essentially uh, designed and defined with Python in mind. So guys, what's the right language for you? What should you pick? The answer is simple. Pick one, anyone, stay with it and go in depth. So I hope I have answered this uh, question for you, R versus Python. So just stay with one and go for it. All the best.